Welcome to episode five of Doomsday Happy Hour. I'm your host, Gigi Peters. This episode is for Angela McCullough and Marquita Johnson. From my audience, I hope that you will help me reach these two women, Marquita Johnson again and Angela McCullough. They both are in Alabama. I don't know anybody in Alabama. And also for, again, their audience. My general commitment to you is that I won't talk about serious stuff without comedy first, but I felt that this exception was necessary. I hope you'll forgive me. So yesterday, I read an article in Reuters about gross miscarriages of justice in the court systems all across the country. Two of the most prominent examples in the article talked about single Black mothers who were locked up for, in one case, unpaid parking tickets, and in the other, outstanding traffic tickets. In the first case, uh, that of Marquita Johnson, a judge, and I believe it was Montgomery County, sentenced her to 496 days behind bars back in 2012. Ultimately, she served 10 months, during which time her three kids were placed in foster care. One daughter was molested and one daughter was physically abused. I am so sorry. Marquita Johnson, for the pain. you and your daughters. I must feel every day. And I would note to everybody else, the article makes clear that every time Marquita talks about who suffered, she talks about her daughters and their pain and their fear every time she leaves the house, not her own. And that that is a sign of a good, loving parent. For Angela McCullough, who was initially pulled over for not having her headlights on and then was arrested based on, again, the um, outstanding traffic tickets she had. She had a 3.87 GPA and was a single mom to four kids. And she was sentenced by the same judge who sentenced Marquita Johnson. Uh, She was sentenced to 100 days behind bars. She cleaned other inmates' cells including this blood-stained cell of a woman who had slit her own wrists and used up her education savings, $1,350, to get out early after 20 days. Ms. McCullough noted basically that she had given up hope of a brighter future, which I think affects not only her prospects, but also those of her kids, and that she had given up on pursuing her education further because she didn't know how she'd be able to afford it. Unfortunately, I've been unemployed for a little over three months now. And even beyond that, it's not been the easiest of times for my family and me. But Angela, I can make you whole on the savings front that I can give you thirteen fifty, If this can reach you and you come forward and you prove that it's you, and hopefully maybe one of the authors or both the authors of the article can confirm that it's you and that and you can show that this is accurate reporting. And if nobody comes forward to, as an imposter, claim what I want for you, then I owe you a check for thirteen fifty. If you go to my website, doomsdayhappyhour.com, there'll be a blog there to put out further details. Again, I can't afford to pay this multiple times, so I really hope that it's the real Angie McCullough and the right one who comes forward and who can prove and that she is who she says she is. And then please expect to check in the mail. Doomsdayhappyhour.com. And you can email me at doomsdayhappyhour at gmail.com. And lastly, I want to say that the judge who sentenced these two women ultimately admitted to violating multiple parts of the state's judicial code of conduct, including failing to, quote, respect and comply with the law. He said that he didn't realize he was doing something wrong, and that he's very remorseful. I think that sometimes it's the time to stand up and make a change and put your money where your mouth is for all of us. And if this judge is sincere, I'd like him to think about creating a trust or some sort of scholarship fund for Marquita Johnson's two daughters 
nobody can give them back the innocence of their childhood and the security of a home where they didn't have to worry that their mother would never come home every time she leaves. But it'd be nice for them to have a brighter future. Thank you.